Dakota first. Controversy is brewing over $16 million of CARES Act funding. The state's emergency commission is putting that money toward grants that supply water for fracking. Maddie Beer Temple has more on the groups challenging the legality of giving pandemic aid money to the oil industry. Two North Dakota watchdog groups are questioning whether it's legal for pandemic aid to go toward grants funding fracking. It's supposed to be directly responding to the pandemic, um, and this one would be kind of questionable. Unnecessary favoritism for an industry that's making a lot of money out of North Dakota. North Dakotans for Public Integrity and the Dakota Resource Council sent a formal complaint to two commissions part of the funding decisions. It alleges that the funding constitutes a gift to oil companies in violation of the state constitution's anti-gift clause. That prohibits uh, gifts being given to uh, private entities unless they're um, alleviating poverty, and I would not consider the oil industry an, in, uh, an organization that the original framers of North Dakota's Constitution would consider um, a group that alleviates poverty. The state's emergency commission set aside $16 million of CARES Act money to the Industrial Commission in October. That three-person commission approved a grant to reimburse up to $200,000 for acquiring water and fracking 80 uncompleted wells, a decision that North Dakotans for Public Integrity says lacks transparency. I'd like to see the list of recipients. I'd like to know, you know, if they are actually going to entrepreneurs in North Dakota, are they going to out-of-state oil companies, or are they going to uh, other government agencies that need to be bailed, bailed out or municipals. Governor Burgum has disputed that funding represents gifts and said the groups are unfairly calling out the oil industry, especially at a time when the government funded many other industries as part of pandemic relief. But I reject vehemently that these were gifts as characterized by this letter <laughs> uh, because yes, when sir. I think when I think about the uh, all the money that we put in have and have put in to help support businesses that were affected by COVID it's interesting that this applying these arguments to one industry and not to all the rest I don't think the argument stands it seems to be that it's an attack on one industry the commission also discussed at the meeting that the project creates roughly 800 jobs among water suppliers, frack crews, and support, helping the industry drive tax revenue, which ultimately helps citizens. State Senator Tim Mathern says the decision should have been made in a special legislative session, and the money should have gone to those hit hardest by the pandemic. We have many individuals who are struggling without proper amount of money for food, for rent, for paying their medical bills. This money really should have gone to those people. Reporting in Bismarck for KX News, Maddie Beer Temple. Though the letter was a formal complaint, the two groups' attorney, J.J. England, says there's a possibility the issue could go to court, and the complaint was a first step. Stay tuned. Coming up next, two